Of course, the first match of Season 3 will be Volkaya Industries. What is up, YouTube? Emu's here. We're you guys my first placement match of Season 3. Um, and, yeah. Enjoy the gameplay. Gonna talk about some things and then leave the rest of the gameplay for you guys to watch. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's gonna be the intro. Very odd intro to be honest but uh anyways season three started yesterday november 30th and going into season three i ended season two off and diamond rank and then in season three my goals for season three is to make it to masters which is what i wanted to do back in season two but season two i didn't play at all like i played like very little at the start and then it wasn't until like the last like few weeks when i started grinding and managed to get to Diamond, but it was too late to even try and push the Masters. So season three, um, like within the past month, I just been having an urge to play nothing but Overwatch and just yeah. So I'm gonna be grinding the hell out of season three. Um, hopefully, I can make it to Masters. Hopefully, if I do make it to Masters, and hopefully from there I can make it to Grandmasters and maybe try and break top 500. But that's a little bit down the road, um, as I'm barely in uh, Diamond. But um, so in this gameplay, um, I'm gonna talk about like the start of season three. I already finished my, I already finished my ten placement matches, and just you know, just to continue on and uh, and like my initial thoughts on of, of season three, season three. So the first being which is that um, before season three started, uh, like the past few days before season three um during i guess the off season of of the seasons i was playing probably the best overwatch that i've played so far uh, i was really really like putting a lot of time into overwatch and i managed to just play insanely well i was just you know just doing like the best i've ever done um whether it was people not really trying because it was off season or something like that, but um, I was really, really going off. I was using heroes that I wanted to learn. For example, I've been playing a lot of Widowmaker, getting really, really good with Widowmaker, playing some Hanzo here and there, getting really good with Hanzo. Um, been practicing my Genji, been practicing Soldier since he's viable. He's more viable than a lot of DPS heroes. And then, uh, and then yeah, I think those are like the main heroes I've been like practicing with. I've been also practicing a lot of Tracer, um, because I kind of fell off with her because I wasn't be I haven't been using her as much. Um, but I started using her again. So really, during the off season, I've been playing a lot of a lot of Overwatch and been playing really great. And then, you know, season three started, and within the ten placement matches, I was actually a, played very horrible. Um, and like. It was shocking, like I said, like the past few days leading up to season three, I've been playing like the best of Rush that I've been playing. Um, and then out of a sudden, I just like collapsed, and I literally don't know what I was doing in a lot of these gameplays. Um, like, for example, this gameplay, when I'm, which I think, I st I'm pretty sure I remember, I start off with Soldier. I don't know if I start off Soldier throughout the whole first side, or do I end up switching later on? But, um, when I'm using soldier, I don't know where my aim was. Um, I, I guess I would say that I was a bit nervous because see, uh, doing the ten place matches is like a little bit, you know, stressful. I've been doing it so I've been doing these place matches a lot. I did season one placement matches. I did season two placement matches twice in PTR, and then I did. Uh, Two more season two placement matches when they officially released on Xbox and PC. Then I did season three placement matches in PTR twice, and then I did this um, season. I just got done doing these placement matches. So I've been doing placement matches a lot, and then it gets a bit stressful trying to get because really, um, like where you end up in placement matches really determines like how like how easier the road is going to be to climb um, because obviously you don't want to get like plays really low at the start of the season and then you just have to grind it's you know more beneficial to be placed in a high rank 
to start off the season and then from there you can just you know climb and just keep on playing um but afterwards after like uh, it was like around midnight um a lot of people like were coming together pretty much the community determined that season three placement matches is screwed and what i mean by this is that um since season one skill rating is different from the how the rest of the seasons are gonna go. Season one, you had a uh, a rank base from one to one hundred, um, and then in season two they change it to tiers, which is the ones we have now. So season one and season two were completely different placement matches, like you know, and then but season two and season three they're the same. So people have found out that wherever you left off at season two, you're gonna get placed like around there. Regardless of your placement matches, um, because like I said, I've been doing a lot of placement matches, and it really like, you know, getting good like win loss ratios and stuff was very helpful. How well you performed was very good, and then obviously that secret MMR was a uh, determined, like all those factors determine where you're gonna get placed. But now with season three, none of that really matters since you either like you're gonna stay within the range that you were last season. Um, so, there's people that win like 2 and 10, I mean 2 and 10, 2 and 8, um, 0 and 10, uh, I saw some people say that they had like, literally, there's a lot of people that had more losses than win. I mean, more, yeah, more losses than wins, and there's still plays diamonds, um, some of them who were like, uh, like, way high up there, was still getting plays in masters, so grandmasters, like, they really didn't see any, like, decrease in their, um, where they were placed, <clears throat> so, you know, that just goes to show that, uh, season three plays matches, um, I guess knowing that, n knowing that now, uh, would have made season three plays matches easier for me, but, you know, it is what it is. I was a bit nervous, but uh, until I realized, well, until I found out that season, you know, the win loss ratio really doesn't matter, um, but, uh, I did, get, I went seven and three in placement matches and got placed. 2,700, 2,976, I believe. And, um, yeah, from there, from there, I, uh, one game later, one win later, I ended up, I'm already in Diamond. Compared to last season, last season I was placed in 2,499, which was the last gold before you hit Platinum, and then from Platinum, the whole season I spent climbing to get Diamond, um, so I've improved, even though because last season I ended up at three thousand forty nine, forty nine, um, which is low diamond, uh, and then from there, like I said, I ended off there, and then I got placed lower than that. But if you look at season two, I actually got placed way higher than I was initially put in season two. So um, overall, I got a pretty good rating compared to last season, um, but I did lose some points from where I was placed but overall season three like the initial time place matches went pretty well the three losses like I'll say the three losses we lost like legit there really isn't an excuse we just got outclassed by the enemy team um but then the wins the wins were pretty good I don't think I've recorded every single win or uh, I'm pretty sure I left out a win or two but, um, I've recorded most of my placement matches, and that's what you guys are gonna see throughout the next course is, like, a lot of those placement matches games. Played, you know, didn't play the best, but, um, overall, played, you know, played decently, I guess. Uh, but then after that, like, the match that I played after I got hit on Platinum to make it to uh, Diamond, which was, like, my 11th game of Season 3. I went off. I went off. And then from there, I've just been playing really good. So, I would say that I was a bit nervous going into placement matches. But now, knowing that uh, placement matches really do doesn't matter. You just, you know, just play throughout the time placement games. Whatever win-loss ratio you get, it really is irrelevant. Um, as long as you do good. Um, knowing that, for the future, is going to be definitely more helpful. Take a bit of the stress away. Because uh, those time placement games were very, very frustrating. In uh, some of those matches. But uh, overall, season three, off to a great start. Uh, are like, are I'm already at diamond. I already passed my season high, which like I said last season, I ended up at 3,049, and I believe I think that was my highest. Um, 
I think that was my highest for the season. And then I already, I'm already above that. I'm like, I'm 3,900, uh, 3,090 something. So I'm already on the road to Brookcrest. And from here on, I'm just, you know, looking to climb from here on out, honestly. Um, but yeah, I guess that's gonna do it. This video really just talk about placement games, uh, my placement games. You know, the start of season three. Uh, next episode, the next video, I'm going to talk about, you know, my roles of season three because I've changed from season one. I definitely changed in season two, and then in season two, I'm definitely changing into season three. Um, so next video, I'm gonna talk more about like the heroes I'm gonna use and. I guess the bit of the quote unquote meta, I don't really know if I really want to talk about it because it's really nothing has changed. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. Um, once I do switch off, I'm pretty sure at this point in the video I already switched off of Soldier. Um, and then I ended up using Tracer and Diva. Uh, so, and I did fairly good with those heroes compared to when I was using Soldier. But, anyways. That's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys in the next competitive video. Adios.
Why is that the macro? What's wrong?
Nice. nice.